I'm Claudine Wong with KTVU in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm joined by a great group talking about art and these high school juniors who are doing some great things. I'm going to let you guys introduce yourself before we talk about this project that you guys are doing that really allows people to enjoy art within their homes. Jenna, let's start with you. Oh, hi, I'm Jenna Han, and I'm a junior at Henry M. Gunn High School. Hi, I'm Chitra Mukherjee, and I'm also a junior at Gunn High School. And hi, I'm Heiwa Anand. I'm also a junior at Gunn High School. And Tom and Dennis? Okay, uh, I'm Dennis, and I'm a graduate of the Bronx High School of Science. And I'm Tom Pritro <laughs> from a little country school way back when I was a junior. Okay, awesome. And so let's talk about art, and let's talk about this project that you guys are working on. Because, and, and tell me how it works, because you three ladies uh, help kind of navigate this art world and, and try to help people figure out how to do art in their homes. Tell me, Jenna, why don't you start with telling me how this program works? What's it called and, and really uh, how it got started? So our studio is named Gladiola Studio and we got the name from the flower called Gladiolus because it represents strength and integrity. So we wanted, and also remember, so we kind of wanted to emphasize that and try to encourage that using our program. And what we basically do is that we are a donation-based program. So we collect donations, we create and deliver different packages, and we hold online art classes on Zoom. And so, Chetra, how, how has it been received in the people and getting it out there, and, and how many participants have you guys had? So we had a really positive response. Like, we were worried that we weren't able to to reach as many seniors as we would be hoping to, but then through emails and just contacting members of the Alzheimer's Association, we have around like three to five participants per class, like some of them are different, and we just love seeing all the different seniors and just so many different people that can be brought together just from these art classes. Yeah. Hey, Juan, are you guys all artists? I mean, is that what brings you together in this space? Or <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, Yeah, so we all really like to do, um, yeah, we all really like to do art. Um, and like some of us have taken art classes at school. Um, and like we all like to do art at home as a hobby. And since especially during this time where we're stuck at home, like art is a pretty um, accessible thing to do because um, if you just have pen and um, a paper, you can always draw whatever you see online. And so we wanted to kind of like share that our hobby with others, especially seniors who um, are more vulnerable to the virus and need to stay home. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So Tom and Janice, how did you get involved in this? I have no idea. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, we, uh, we know these young ladies from uh, the project they did last year for the Alzheimer's Association. We're volunteers in the Alzheimer's Association and also we're involved because I'm a caregiver and Dennis uh, has Alzheimer's and uh, we, uh, so our, our great uh, recipients, beneficiaries of the new project they're doing, and we wanted to support it as much as possible by alerting people in our community that we know uh, about the, the uh, art classes. Fantastic. I mean, it's such a great idea and such a great way to reach out and really, you know, share in this. I'm going to pull up some pictures from what you guys are doing. So tell me how this works, you guys, in terms of everyone just kind of logs on and you guys pick you've set them supplies and and how does this work yeah so we have like different art classes we have we planned so for example we had like paper collage you had watercolor um or like pencil drawing um and we basically have our website where we have all those classes listed and the seniors who are interested can um just sign up and then we get a notification that they signed up and then um like a few days before the class like we send them the link to the zoom mm -hmm. so we use zoom um, for our classes and then um they come on and then uh we wait until every all the participants are there and then um we they ba we basically teach them um whatever our topic is and they use the tools we have sent them and then that's how like our classes begin so it looks like there's some kind of crafty kind of stuff and then a, a different kinds of this looks like <laughs> easter yeah. which i love i mean is yeah. it how complex or simple is it i mean it looks like i mean really everyone coming up with their own you know great version of the art as well 
So we try to keep the projects fairly simple as it is difficult to show like this different steps on Zoom and also there's technical difficulty that we run into. So we just want to make sure that our project can be like fun and doable for everyone, despite of like any pre prior experience in art. And then we just love how we can see everyone's different style as well. Like some people <laughs> may be more proficient in watercolor, maybe like they'll do more drawings in it. So we just basically try to keep it as simple as possible and go forward from there. Yeah, and Tom and Janice, this looks like yours right here. <laughs> Those are great. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That's fantastic. How long how long did these these classes take and, and uh, Tom and Janice, I mean, is it what you expected or what are what are you getting out of it? Um, Oh, these are really good. But we laugh a lot. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, these, uh, these kids uh, make it really fun. And, and you know, uh, we just did a class last Sunday, uh, uh, day before yesterday, and that went almost two hours. I think we took more time than we were supposed to. But uh, it, was, uh, it was completely fun. We forgot the time totally. So it's a total distraction. It really... Uh, you know, it lightens our day in a new way. Oh, that's awesome. And so, you know, where does this, how, how many classes have you guys taken? Uh, we've taken three classes. Uh, I like the watercolor class, especially because I learned some new things about wash and all. I didn't know I like art. And so, and we both like art, but uh, most of <laughs> we wash art. That's our dog, sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. The dogs oh, no. always love to weigh in on, on yeah, yeah, right. these walls, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of how much art training you ladies have had, you know, I mean, you guys talked about it, that you have, so, obviously I saw some of your work. you, you do some great stuff, you know, how has this kind of helped you guys and what do you guys get out of this as well? Um, so part of the training we have comes from this club, come, National Art and Honor Society at our school. And it's basically a club where we provide different like art projects and like some basic guidelines that people can follow to create different artworks. So mm -hmm. we kind of took that and collaborated. Um, it's kind of like a collaboration with this other club called Neuroscience Club. And if Heyuan can talk a, a little more about that. <laughs> yeah, so um, we are also part of the Neuroscience Club and that's where we did the project last summer that um, Tom talked about and that's where we met Tom and Dennis um, and basically we like created a video to advocate for Alzheimer's Association because um, our um, organization is also donating some of our donations to um, Alzheimer's Association um, and also like through this project we I think we got to learn more about art ourselves because um, we like got to experiment with different um, like materials, like paper collage, and um, like try different ty type of projects that we've never thought we'd do. And so I think um, even for ourselves, it was like a learning process and we got to do a lot of different projects. And overall it was like really fun experience for us as well. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Wonderful, so, that's wonderful. <laughs> what's been the most difficult challenge though? I mean, how the donations, getting people to sign up because uh, certainly, you know, you, I, I think people are looking for different ways to help, but, but it's, it's sometimes reaching out to people and getting your message mm -hmm. out, right, of, of what you guys are, are planning and trying to do can be difficult. Yeah, so in terms of donations, we already raised um, over $1,000, but I think the biggest issue we have are that we do have to hold these classes through Zoom. And I think there are both benefits and disadvantages to that mm -hmm. because we're obviously able to interact with people from like a wider range of areas. So we have participants from like Los Gatos and Sacramento but at the same time we do sometimes have like internet connection issues sometimes our mics are muted without a snow thing but <laughs> <laughs> I, I it's think difficult. it's difficult it's difficult and not every participant you know you know can work through all the the IT problems yeah, yeah. Tom have you guys had IT problems <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, we're good. You're good. See, that's good. You guys are you guys are the head of the class. You guys are the you guys are the uh, valedictorians of art. <laughs> we know about computers pretty well. Well, that and it does help. But I think yeah, you're right. I think you know, 
in person. But but I think this is something, I mean, are you guys hoping to continue this through the summer? Because certainly as we talk about the many phases that California is going through and how strict the Bay Area requirements are too, even when they start lifting that ability for people and specifically people within the senior category to go out comfortably might take a little longer mm-hmm. um, than some some areas of you know the population to be able to get out do you feel like you're going to continue this for a while yeah our goal is to continue these classes and we would we do think that zoom is a good platform to do this because we do want to have like to be able to reach people in faraway places as well because since we deliver it also is an option to be to reach them on zoom and talk to them but also talking to them and teaching to them in person would also be a really good opportunity yeah, in person would be great. How do you have to change what you teach in person versus, you know, when you're holding something up and saying, oh, <laughs> I mean, I did an online um, painting class too, you know, and, and it was, oh. it was interesting. I don't know. I'd like to think it would have looked a little bit better if I was in person, but then no one could see it to know that I messed up what I was supposed to do, um, you know, but how have you had to change, you know, how, how you teach right because it is a little different if you're talking about whether it's mixing paint or drawing a line or how thick the line is you're right with cameras it's a little Mm -hmm. more complicated yeah um so we Uh, basically oh (laughs) i know everyone's trying to turn this is the challenge right okay (laughs) yeah okay Okay. (laughs) why don't you just tell us what your biggest challenge was um yeah so um i think we briefly mentioned but on like showing on screen is definitely pretty difficult like we once wanted to do an origami class um but we realized it was very difficult to show like what folds to make on screen so i feel like if we do it in person we can we have sort of a wider range of activities we can do because it's easier to show them um, and help them in person and also i think if we um, are in person, we probably can um, give them more detailed advice because yeah. we can kind of see their um, image better and we can like um, sort of like move their hands and like help them with like brush stroke or things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think in that way, um, there's more options for us in person, but definitely online, um, we're still able to like convey the overall uh, message and we're still able to help them virtually. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, Tom, did you guys have a, a favorite or things that yeah. you make, it makes it harder or easier? Well, uh, the thing that's really makes it easy is, you know, we do it in our kitchen from a laptop and just, uh, you know, we're there. It's, I, I think, especially for uh, people where there's Alzheimer's involved or uh, you're pretty, uh, you know, and now when we're uh, housebound as well, it just is so easy. So that's a good part. The difficult part is these guys show great examples, like, and they, you know, hold them up and so see, here's how you could do a rabbit or how you could do this yeah. image or whatever. And then it goes down. I'm looking down. Wait, wait, come back. Show me the elephant. <laughs> you want to pause them, right? And, yeah, you have to pause them. Yeah, and you just freeze it so I can do a little sketch and then go ahead <laughs> and cut it out. And so uh, if you were in class and you could see these things around and kind of pick what you like, you know, and, and copy it or work on it. And so oh, it would, yeah. uh, you can't do that on a, a computer screen. No, I, I absolutely, everyone works at their own pace, which is probably why your class went two hours, you said. You make them so long. but judging from, you know, the work, you know, I'll bring those pictures back up, but judging from what you guys are able to accomplish, it, it is it is pretty, pretty impressive about, you know, how much you're able to take part. Do you feel a lot of camaraderie with the other people in the class as well? Yeah, it's a really good experience just to be able to talk to them and share stories. Like, mm-hmm. you're able to hear so many different people's stories from all over the Bay Area and also just seeing so many different people at once just coming together it's really my favorite part of these classes especially mm-hmm. having a group photo and seeing everyone's happy faces it's definitely so happy. <laughs> yeah it, it's really and and do you find that people are saying i've never done art before you know and this is maybe a, a first time for them or you know that they just didn't you know it it is it's great that you send the supplies too because it's hard to even just get those mm-hmm. 
Um, so we definitely have a combination of um, people of all different skill levels, but uh, we still continue to try to provide really clear instruction. So we usually try to have like a clear goal when we're trying to make guard so that everyone can try and follow along despite these differences. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and a lot of, uh, but do you have a yeah. lot of first time to this, this art as well? Like first time to just taking your classes? Because it sounds like Tom has been visiting with you guys for your previous programs, but you find it, it sounds like some other people have, have also discovered you in this place. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you know, for uh, for us, for example, uh, we may have done some art and little classes or whatever, but it's been 50 years. You know, time flies, you're working, you're <laughs> and so forth. <laughs> and, uh, and so having, uh, so it's kind of a, a fun throwback to things that we uh, enjoyed when we were younger. And also uh, having the supplies and you know seeing the different things and just having them there uh, delivered to you is really nice because uh, you don't have to think about you know even now trying to get the supplies and knowing yeah. what to get. It's very nice. It is true. Just going out to the store now. I'm like yesterday I went to the store and it was like the big adventure of my day <laughs> to, to just <laughs> venture out. Right. And and I I also think. Art is calming. I mean, the reason they say it's so good for us to do that or mm -hmm. do a puzzle, I did a puzzle, it took me like five weeks. <laughs> but every time I sat, <laughs> it was a lot of pieces, people. <laughs> but, but every time I sat down, by the end of it, I felt it, it felt yeah. better. Like the painting class was hard mm -hmm. to sit down and get all your stuff together. But, but there is an emotional component, I think, for all of you, because the seniors, certainly you guys can't get out as much and, and the participants, but you know, you guys are high school students cooped up in your houses as well. You were supposed to be at school doing all sorts of fun things like AP tests and classes, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. but also, but also maybe baseball games, sports and, and, and fun uh, that other stuff, you know, it, does this help you guys too, to know that you have a little bit of an important part in your day an important part that helps other people and, and really helps yourselves as well. Yeah, like for, I think um, same for Jenna and Chitra, usually our days are sort of just mundane because we just like sit in front of our computer and do like school work. And so we always look forward to these classes because it's something new in our week. And um, we know that we're going to have a lot of fun creating work and see, like actually talking to other people. And so I think for us, it's also really therapeutic um, art itself. Um, doing it is very fun. So I think it has been very helpful emotionally for us too. Mm -hmm. And also, we have to prepare before each class because we just want to make sure like we know what we're doing as well. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just been like a fun break for us because or, when we prepare, it's usually like an hour as well. And just I kind of like look forward to that in a way because it's a break from like a bunch of AP studying and all of that stuff. Yeah, I knew it. I knew those AP <laughs> were still hanging over to you guys. <laughs> and also, yeah you get to do these crafts that like we wouldn't have time to just sit down and do even though we would like to. Yeah and we also get to hear really interesting stories like one time Tom and Dennis were joining our Easter Bunny class and they told us a little anecdote about a little bunny that came into their garden. So just hearing <laughs> small stories like that really brightens up our day and yeah. Yeah it would be amazing Tom if you and Janice could uh get together and share those bunny stories in person at, at, at some point, right? Yes, we just watched a Peter Rabbit film, a uh, video uh, movie, and this rabbit we discovered is sneaking to our backyard. And so we're uh, in reinforcing our gate barrier. Important, important stuff. <laughs> so Because we have a big garden and we like our vegetables. Our veggies are good. <laughs> well, with, the, with how hard shopping is today, having a vegetable garden is fantastic. It is, it is, I'm growing basil right now because it's hard to find. <laughs> so at this point, what do you suggest for people to sign up? How long does it take? Just give, give some people some logistics who say, all right, I'm in, I want to in on this next class. How do they sign up? How long does it take to get their materials? And then if people want to donate, how do they do that? Um, so our website has all of that information. So our website is just www.gladiolastudio.com. And um, if they click on book a class, then there's a list of classes um, that are happening this month. 
and then they can just click sign up and then they're automatically signed up. They have to give some information like their address because we have to deliver the materials to them. And delivery usually um, will take about a week or a week and a half depending on how far the location is. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And so if their stuff doesn't get to them quite on time, they can always book a different class, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, and what really impressed me, the, uh, the kids decide, okay, they're going to do this project. We found about, out about it through our Alzheimer's uh, uh, Association volunteer contact. And uh, I thought, okay, that's good. And then the next thing I see, they have this fantastic website set up, which is very efficient and very smooth. And you just click on it and boy, are they uh, professionals. You get stuff. everything you need. Yep. And then, you know, if you... Oh, well, what, it isn't quite like this. And then you push something else and there it is. You got what you need. <laughs> and that's, that's great. That's how, that's how you conquer the world, right? <laughs> are you adding, and, and ladies, are you adding more classes? Oh yeah, definitely. So we added three new classes for May. So we have like, we had another paper collage class. We're going to have a coloring class. And we're also going to be having like an animal portrait class where people can draw their pets. And we're definitely going to be adding more later on, maybe every week or twice a week. All right, perfect. And this is, this is your site, right? As I pull it up, mm -hmm. there you go. And so there's your donations so people can easily do that. How much yeah. is it, it in terms of a kit? How much does one kit cost so people know where their money, where their money goes to? So if they donate, What's the best donation? I'm sure more is better. <laughs> but, you know, um, what are you hoping for, you know, in terms of is any, any donation, I guess, I guess matters. Right now, we've delivered around kits for three classes so far, and it's cost $200 just to get all of the packing supplies and the markers because we just want to make sure that everyone does get like a good quality art supply as well because even after these classes they can continue on making projects so we also have yeah. to counter in like shipping costs as well because we want to make sure it gets to them as fast as possible mm -hmm. yeah. so any donation would help but right now our goal is just to keep on getting donations to keep on giving back to the seniors with these kits and donate as well to the Alzheimer's Association. Right. Well, if you look at it, you know, zero dollars is the price that you're looking for <laughs> for the classes for seniors. So that's awesome. Making it easy for them to, to sign up. All right. Well, hey, you guys, I really appreciate this conversation and everyone that's been a part of it because uh, I think what you guys are doing is, is fantastic. So Jenna, Chetra, Haywan, and Tom and Janice, thanks so much for for joining us on this on this chat and good luck on all these classes and all the donations and I hope you just keep on trucking until finally you can do it in person as well so you can do that origami class for more information and you for guys more have to keep it up too you know <laughs> you can't keep saying the same thing week after week after week after week after. yes I right <laughs> third grade oh. so we will <laughs> well, yes, we are all in it together, that's for sure. Well, for more interviews, uh, you can also log on to coronavirusnow.com. Thanks so much for joining us.